focus on studying God's Word. What does it have to say? What, what did Jesus Christ say in the Gospels? Being here, you're in a spot where it's just like concentrated. The challenges, the struggles they go through, and they help each other through, and that's what really develops those lifelong friendships. When you can experience something together um, that really changes who you are as a person. When the Lord is involved in that, it's a, a bond that can't really be broken. Well, I think in the Christian life, community is a have to. It causes you to grow. You don't have a choice. You're, you're going to grow one way or the other. I think it's such an important thing for us as Christians to learn how to live with one another, how to relate to people, how to uh, communicate. The students come from, from all over the world and they really set aside a year of their life really dedicated to growing with the Lord in, in the classroom and in their interpersonal life with the Lord and relationships with students. I used to hate not knowing things. I'm always a person that wants to plan things, like my life in advance, you know. And after that, after that year, it's like, you know, I mean, God will put me somewhere. I don't know where, but it's going to be sweet. Grow in their disciplines with him and like pursuing a relationship instead of it just being a relationship that happens. They're intentional about it. Like they're like, okay, I'm going to be in the Word. I'm going to memorize. I'm going to work at this. I had grown up not really wanting, like not really being open and vulnerable, and just coming here and being with people who cared about me and who, who had the same goals as me and stuff. It was just amazing to have that relationship. Learn in the classroom experience with the same group of people for eight months how to communicate, how to ask questions, how to uh, decipher problems that, you're, that, that are uh, raised within scripture, that are raised within that community, and to talk them through and come to some answers, some resolve on those things as a group. And I think MWSB fosters that kind of community building and in the, in the life of an individual. Classes run from Monday to Friday and that is one entire class and the whole group of students that are here go through that class together and so we have different visiting faculty members that come in for each of those classes different professors and Bible school teachers and pastors and missionaries and people from different ministries from all over the United States and Canada that teach those I think the backpacking trips for students are really tough. I think it is one of those highlight things of the year. The, the trip varies greatly uh, for those that have had experience to those that have never been in the outdoors before. For most of them, it's maybe a little bit more of a challenge than they expected. But it's that time where, again, where they, they see God's creation and they're confronted with it. You're a one team and you have one purpose, and that's to get from this side of the trail to that side of the trail. You have young people who come away having been challenged and succeeding at that challenge, and that's huge. comes out of the, the Bible talks about discipline yourself for the purpose of godliness and I think that's sort of our theme. Being tied together is just a huge impact in life. It leaves a mark. It, it transforms. We mean just strengthening yourself, building yourself up. Uh, getting to know what's God's heart, what's His vision for your life. It's safe to say that lifelong friendships are developed at this place. And to deal with things in your own life and to listen and hear the still small voice of God. 
They come away from this year with a perspective, I believe, on life where it's not just about them and their relationship with the Lord, but they're, they're actively seeking out other relationships. I look at it as they're changed into more of the person that God always intended them to be.